The term apostle can refer to the twelve disciples of Christ. However, in Greek it was used more broadly. Let's look at what God has sent us to do. Let's examine Luke 10, verses 1 through 11, and 16 through 20, and what we can learn from 70 or 72 who were apostled by Jesus and what their mission was. The Lord now chose 72 other disciples and sent them ahead in pairs to all the towns and places he planned to visit. These were his instructions to them. The harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into his fields. Now go, and remember that I am sending you out as lambs among wolves. Don't take any money with you nor a traveler's bag, nor an extra pair of sandals, and don't stop to greet anyone on the road. Whenever you enter someone's home, first say, May God's peace be on this house. If those who live there are peaceful, the blessing will stand. If they're not, the blessing will return to you. Don't move around from home to home. Stay in one place, eating and drinking what they provide. Don't hesitate to accept hospitality, because those who work deserve their pay. If you enter a town and it welcomes you, eat whatever is set before you. Heal the sick and tell them the kingdom of God is near you now. But if a town refuses to welcome you, go out into its streets and say, We wipe even the dust of your town from our feet to show that we have abandoned you to your fate. And know this, the kingdom of God is near. Then he said to the disciples, Anyone who accepts your message is also accepting me. And anyone who rejects you is rejecting me. And anyone who rejects me is rejecting God who sent me. When the seventy-two disciples returned, they joyfully reported to him, Lord, even the demons obey us when we use your name. Yes, he told them. I saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning. Look, I've given you authority over all the power of the enemy. And you can walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them. Nothing will injure you. But don't rejoice because evil spirits obey you. Rejoice because your names are registered in heaven. Seventy Apostled? Texts vary from 70 to 72 cent. The word apostle simply means a missionary and is not limited to the twelve. Jesus' words could easily be translated as, The Lord now chose seventy other disciples and apostled, or sent them. An apostle is someone sent. Some famous names supposedly among the seventy were James, Mark, Luke, Barnabas, Philemon, Onesimus, Aquila, and a large number who became early church bishops. They were sent in pairs for safety and mutual encouragement to prepare for Jesus' coming, just as we prepare for his coming. At harvest, extra workers are needed to pick fruit or reap grain before it goes bad. So too, there's an urgency to reaping the harvest of the kingdom. Mission Instructions Jesus gave them some mission instructions. Pray for more workers. Help is always needed in the church's work. We are lambs among wolves. Beware of dangers. Don't take money, traveler's bag, or extra sandals but rely on God. Don't stop to greet anyone. In other words, don't delay. Bring peace, and fertile ground will reveal itself by a peaceful response. Stay in one place, being satisfied with the hospitality given, and also being easy to find. Eating and drinking what they provide. Not being picky about food. Accept hospitality. It is deserved pay, not freeloading. If a town refuses to welcome you, 
abandon it to its fate. Warn them and move on. Eat, heal, and tell. Jesus makes spreading the gospel simple. We just eat, heal, and tell. First, eating is a natural part of life and a good way to mix with others. Not everyone will invite us to eat with them, but we can often invite them to eat with us. Let's be known as hospitable. We may not all be able to heal miraculously as Jesus did, but we can all help heal other people's hearts with kind words and encouragement. Look deep into people's souls and see the need for healing. And telling each other's stories doesn't mean that we shove Jesus down people's throats, but it does mean that we tell something using the wisdom that God has given us. Who listens to you? It's very pleasant to be listened to instead of being interrupted or someone only pretending to listen or worse, rejecting us. My father was a very successful salesman who loved the word no because he knew it meant he didn't have to waste any more time and could move on to the next potential customer. He taught me that sales was just a numbers game. Jesus Christ was despised and rejected and so will we be. But the more people we talk to, the more we win. He said that whoever listens to you listens to me. People don't reject or accept us, but Jesus. What a privilege and blessing to be listened to when we talk about Jesus. What is our joy? We may notice that the disciples had joy in doing the work of God. This is how it's meant to be. When we have joy in doing church work, such as board meetings, performing church services, choir practice, Bible studies, letting our light shine in the community, then we're on the right track. When we're no longer enjoying our service to God, it's often an indicator that we're doing something we ought not to be doing, like not taking a Sabbath day's rest, or doing something for which God has not gifted us, or any number of things. Our ultimate reason for joy is being one of the people whose names are written in heaven. Just as Jesus apostled 70 disciples to go eat, heal, and tell, so he apostles every one of us. We're rarely sent far away. Most often our mission field is right here in our own backyard. Let's pray for an opportunity to tell about that which gives us true joy.